DragonCon for many reasons. One, I'm from Atlanta. Um, I love fandoms. I'm like big into, uh, well, if it's TV related, I watch it, you know. They're like, do you play this? I'm like, I'm too busy watching everything. Um, but yeah, DragonCon I've been coming to for easily over a decade. Um, I've done panels as a, as a sound person, um, as, a, as a boom operator, and I've just like, I've always loved coming, and I'd always like, I don't know, I'd always be here like at 8 p.m., and I'd be leaving like at 4 a.m. for the parties, obviously, but, you know, but seeing all that, but it's, I don't know, it's, a, it's, it's fun seeing Atlanta just sort of like celebrate this thing that's Atlantan, um, and not so much it's closed down because everywhere else in the country or world, wherever, you know, like holidays and stuff. I like that this is our, this is like the Atlanta holiday week. Um, and it's also, Dragon Con is like the kick, like even as a Jew, I still like Christmas, you know, I still, you know, I like the, you know, I like the lights and the trees and I like look at it and I always feel like it used to be like Halloween sort of starts the holidays, but to me, I'm, I'm always like, oh, Dragon Con, it starts, then we have Halloween, that's going to be Thanksgiving, then we do the Christmas, New Year's, and then Valentine's Day, if I'm not being like a terrible husband, and then, um, and then my birthday. So it's a good, and then I, and then I sit for six months and I wait, but yeah. Starts with Dragon Con, <laughs> the holiday season.